Now, let us derive an expression for uh, magnetic field due to a solenoid using Ampere circuit alone. For that, let us consider a solenoid like this having n number of turns and length L. In order to in order to apply the ampere circuit law, we have to consider a closed loop. For that, let us consider a rectangular closed loop like this. That is, let's name that A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D be the rectangular loop and let its direction free be in the anti-clockwise direction. Clear. That is the arm AB is passing through the interior of the solenoid and the uh, arm CD outside the solenoid and AD and BC perpendicular to the length of the solenoid. Now applying the Ampere circuit law we have from Ampere's circuit law we have line integral P dot DL is equal to mu zero times the total current I. This is the expression for the ambient circuit law. So the any loop must be closed. Here we have a closed rectangular loop. So integral P dot DL means we have integral from A to B. We have to integrate along this rectangular loop. Integral A to B, B dot DL plus integral now from B to C b to c b dot dl then from c to d integral c to d b dot dl and the last one from integral d to a b dot dl on the right hand side we have mu zero I means the total current. We have total current, total current I is equal to C. We have n number of turns. Here there are n number of turns and each carry a current. Let's say current is passed uh, into the A and here the current will come out of, come out of the solenoid. So, in every loop, there is a current flowing like this. So, for uh, there are current in every turn. So, the total current will be number of turns into current Ni. So, the total current is equal to Ni. Clear. Now, we have to simplify the expression on the left hand side. Now, let me erase this. We have... If you consider integral b to c, we have integral b to c b dot dl and I am also taking this case also that it, uh, that will be numerically equal, I will say that, that is integral d to a b dot dl. This both amounts to 0. That is, here are the magnetic field See, the magnetic field inside the solenoid will always be in the direction from left to right and it will be uniform. Magnetic field only exists inside the solenoid. So, in, in the region from B to C, the magnetic field is in this direction. Here also the magnetic field is in this direction. Now, we have the magnetic field is perpendicular to the length in the case of BC and AD. See, this BC is perpendicular to B magnetic field. Here also, DA is perpendicular to B. So, B dot DL means 
integral b d l the angle with cause of angle between magnetic field and length here it is 90 but we know cos 90 equal to 0 so its value will be 0 so we can remove this case these two cases there will be no magnetic field in here b to b to c and a to d now in this case from c to d c to d b dot dl here the magnetic we know the magnetic field only exists inside the solid oil. in this region the magnetic field is zero outside the solenoid there is no magnetic field so in that case also the magnetic field is zero so we can remove this case also so only this case exists that is integral b d l that is this one Th this will be b and d l are in the same direction here a b and b are in the same direction so we can put cos zero is equal to mu zero n i now this is equal to integral b d l is equal to mu 0 n i. Now this implies here the magnetic field inside the solenoid is constant everywhere. So this b is constant you can take that out integral b d l equal to mu 0 n i now if you integrate d l you will get length b l equal to mu 0 n i that is b is equal to mu 0 n i divided by l this can be written as b equal to mu 0 number of turns by length into i but we know the number of turns per unit length is uh, is the small letter m number of turns per unit length is the total number of turns by number uh, by length of the solid this is the number of turns per unit length so b can be written as mu 0 n i clear this is the expression for the magnetic field due to a solenoid clear